Hello, this is Jason from AC Yoga, and this is lovely Ashley. So today we're going to demonstrate some yoga that can be done on your back. So it's great for waking up in the morning, before bed, um, or if something's going on that you just can't quite move around that well, standing up or seated. Everything can be done here with the support of the ground. So, in yoga, it's always good to start with the breath. It's really what it's all about, to connect your breathing with your movements. So, you want to start with some nice full inhales into your belly and feel your belly rising. And as you exhale, relax, just kind of feel yourself melting down. Feel that support of the ground holding your body up. You might start to notice an energy shift as your awareness comes inside of you. You start to feel what's going on inside your body, so just make sure that whatever comes up, you're able to feel it, acknowledge it, without any kind of judgment. And we're going to start to move around a little bit. So feel free to lengthen any of these exercises if they feel right to do them for longer or if they don't feel so good then you can skip them because we don't want to do anything that hurts. Uh, maybe try to modify some things to uh, fit your body but if it doesn't work don't worry about it. Don't feel bad that you can't do it. Just move on to something else. So, to start, take a nice inhale, reach your arms overhead. Lengthen your body. Good. And as you exhale, take the right knee up into the chest. Good. Bring the arms in front. So, we want to pull this knee up and down. Good. So with each inhale, think about lengthening that leg on the ground, and with each exhale, pull that right knee up and in a little bit more. And while doing this, you can use your exhale all the time to relax. It's a very good tool of breath. So on the exhale, relax in the hips, relax the lower back, Good. relaxing the shoulders even, and the upper back and the neck. So you're really just your arms here. It's relaxing the legs as well. Good. And you can make some small circles going around with this leg. It can feel really good in the hip. Both directions. Nice. So keeping that lower back relaxed the whole time. Good. Cool, so allow the right knee to come out to the right in the right hand. Good. So it's important to keep this left hip down while extending the right leg out to get that opening of the hips. And continue to breathe nice deep full breaths. And so you have the option here, if it's okay to straighten that right leg out a little bit more, it makes it a little heavier, uh, it's a little more challenging this way, or to modify and make it a little easier, you can keep the knee bent and put the foot on the ground for some extra support, and maybe even bring that foot all the way in toward the left thigh. Okay, so whatever's best for you, feel it out, and again, Feel free to pause this and stay and explore, but we're going to move on in order to show some more stretching. So give that knee another squeeze to reset in the center, and then we'll straighten the legs straight up to the sky. Good. And walk the hands up the back of the leg, maybe up to the foot, maybe the hands are just on the hamstring, it's fine. but. It's important to keep that leg as straight as you can, so it really flex up through the top of that heel. Good. 
So on a nice inhale, lengthen the leg, reach up to the ceiling through the heel. And then maybe even exhaling, pulling your shoulders and head up off the ground, pushing core, your belly button straight down to get a good core exercise. And pulling your forehead towards your knee. Good. So we'll take another inhale here, really straighten that leg. And exhale, relax down, bend your knee, pull it into your chest. Awesome. And then you can relax your leg away from your body so your knee is just above your hip. And kind of send that leg over for a twist. And so keeping the right shoulder on the ground, you can even look over your right shoulder. So the entire spine is twisting here, all the way up through the neck. Awesome. Take some nice deep breaths in here. It can be a challenge with your body twisted, but let that air come in and expand your whole body even though it's twisted, kind of massaging into your organs. Good, and again, feel free to pause this and kind of stay here for a while, but we're gonna move on to explore the other side. So coming back to center, give that knee one more squeeze. Cool, and then we can inhale, lengthen the leg, reach your arms up overhead again. And exhale, pull in the left knee. Good. So again, with each inhale, lengthening the leg on the floor, right leg. In this case, exhale, pull that left leg up and in and down toward the earth. So helping you relax the hip, relax the lower back, and relax your shoulders, relax your neck as well. So your spine is nice and flat relax on the ground and maybe make some small circles going around with that left knee, massage into the hip, massaging it down into the ground, onto your mat, or whatever you're laying on. Hopefully a nice flat surface of bed is okay, but ideally you want something very firm. If your mattress is really firm, that could work, but it's best to be on the ground in some kind of pattern. So, we'll send that leg out to the side. This is really good stuff for your hips. To open the hips in all these different directions. It's real important to keep the, that joint moving, it keeps it lubricated. Just maybe straightening out that leg. And again, any modification is okay to take. So if the knee is bent, foot is in by the thigh. As long as this hip is opening out to the side, that's what we're going for in this particular stretch. And always a nice deep breath. Whenever you think about it, take a nice deep breath. Ideally, every single breath nice and deep, but sometimes they get away from us. So we'll take the knee back from the center, give it a nice squeeze, and then straighten the legs straight up to the sky. So always reaching straight up through that heel, and ideally you keep the other leg straight on the ground. But if this isn't comfortable, if you need to bend that right knee, that's fine too. Good. So Ashley is kind of pointing her toes down, so keeping that foot flexed at a right angle like this is good. Really going to stretch the back of the leg nicely. You can even lift again with your head shoulders off the ground using the core so pushing your belly button down toward the ground really good stuff cool all right so we'll take one more breath inhale lengthen that leg make it a little more of a stretch exhale relax down squeeze the knee in and we'll take a twist on this side cool so keeping that opposite shoulder down on the ground and twisting the leg over. Yeah, and then that top leg can straighten a little bit for more of a twist. It makes that leg heavier, so you twist over a little more. If that is what your body is trying to do. You always want to go right up to that edge where going a little bit more might be a little too much. You want to go right up to that edge and just respectfully push. And don't go too far because you never want to hurt yourself and overstretch. 
<clears throat> but you want to go right up to that threshold where you get a good stretch and try to breathe. There's a little bit of discomfort, but that's kind of what we're going for. That's where all the magic happens. So I'll bring that leg back, give it another hug. Cool. So let's inhale, straighten, reach the arms overhead, open up the body. Good. Exhale and bring both knees in. Give it a hug. So you can hug in front of your knees or behind your knees. Whatever's comfortable. But again, feeling the back flat on the ground. And maybe rocking left and right a little bit feels good here too. A little massage for the lower back on the mat. This is a really nice basic stretch to kind of lengthen the back of your body. Awesome. Still breathing nice and fully. Good. Let's straighten both legs up to the sky. So this is going to be a good core workout. And the idea is to get your heels just over top of your hips so the legs are nice and straight up and down. And sometimes the legs won't straighten all the way, so it's okay to have a slight bend, but challenge yourself to reach straight up through those heels to straighten the legs. And we're using the core here to keep the legs up, so pressing the belly button into the ground. But in order to get a nice full inhale and fill your body with air, which is super important, right? Air is like number one thing that we need. You want to relax your core so that you can inhale fully. Don't let your inhale be restricted. So if you want to take it to another level here to work the core out, you can inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, reach your fingers up towards your toes. And maybe even pick up the head and the shoulders. Really push the belly button down into the earth. And as you inhale, relax down, reach overhead. And you can feel this is a really good core workout. So we'll do two more. But feel free to do five, do 10, 20. Whatever is best to challenge your body. Awesome. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let's bend the knees, squeeze them into the chest. Right on. So let's put the feet flat on the ground. So you want your feet and your knees to just be about four inches apart so they're in line with your hips, so nothing is splaying out to the side. Everything's right in line here. And then reach your fingers down towards your heels, maybe walk the heels in a little bit so you can just about touch your heels. Good, so once you get there, inhale and lift the hips up toward the sky the bridge. Awesome. So the support is in your shoulders here and your feet. So with each inhale, maybe lift up a little bit higher. You want to be careful not to be clenching with your butt, so relax the butt muscles and just use your quads and push into the feet to raise up. And then the arms have some options, they can hang out by the side there. You can also interlace your hands and kind of walk your shoulders behind your body one at a time. Good. And you can also bring the arms up overhead. So this can be a nice shoulder massage, pushing the shoulders into the ground. And the arms can be straight, or you can kind of bend them and bring your hands toward each other. Opposite forearms. I kind of like doing that, it feels good on the shoulders, but do whatever's best for you. So, still breathing nice and full. Take another inhale to raise up, open up a little more. Exhale, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Let your hips come toward your heels, lengthening your spine. Good. And then pull the knees into the chest.